Greetings, everybody. My name is Travis Cusi. I'm the Mission Engagement Facilitator for the SED Central Region, and it's a joy and privilege to once again bring this latest edition of the IGO vlog to you. To empower you as everyday missionaries to connect with your neighbors in love and service in order to connect people to Jesus. Well, in this latest edition of the IGO vlog, I want to share a neighboring idea with you that comes from a new book from Lutheran Hour Ministries in partnership with the Barna Organization. It's a book entitled The Hopeful Neighborhood by Don Everett. And it really explores the question of what happens when Christians pursue the common good. Now, ultimately, what it's really calling us to is living out our calling in Christ that we have by grace through faith as sons and daughters of God, the priest of all believers, but now in our various vocations, our callings of life, wherever we live, work, and play. And really, remember, vocation is all about loving and serving our neighbors. And we've seen, especially Luther's teaching on vocation, uh, that idea of the mass of God, that we are the conduits of God's provision, his care, his blessing, his common grace to the world. And so as we seek the common good, as we seek the welfare, the well-being of people, to help people thrive in life through our callings and vocations, whatever they may be, that we are being used by God to be the blessing that he intended. It, it's a calling and a vocation. It's an intention that God had all the way back to the garden, that we were called to be conduits of his care and blessing to the created order. And now we not only have been restored to that original calling, but also now redeemed to that as well. Now, as we think about how we can be that conduit of God's blessing, as we love, love and serve our neighbors, as we seek the common good, a biblical picture for us and a touch point really is Jeremiah 29. We hear the account of God's people, Israel, Judah, who are taken into captivity into Babylon. But God makes a promise to them that he will one day restore them. That after 70 years, God says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord in Jeremiah 29:11. Plans not to, to harm you, but to prosper you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. But in the meantime, God doesn't call them just to survive and make it another day, but he calls them to thrive. So in Jeremiah 29, starting in verse 4, we hear this, God's call to those who have been taken into captivity. This is what the Lord, the Almighty, the God of Israel says to all those that I have carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build houses and settle down. Plant gardens and eat what they produce. Marry and have sons and daughters. Find wives and sons and give your daughters in marriage so that they too may have sons and daughters and increase in number there. Do not decrease. Also seek the peace and prosperity of the city which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. What God is basically saying to the exiles is bloom where you're planted. Don't just survive, but thrive. Have families, plant gardens, establish a life for yourself, and not only a self-focus for you, but be conduits of my blessing. Be conduits of my shalom, my peace, to the community that you have been placed, the city where you dwell, because its welfare will also be your welfare. Brothers and sisters, isn't that our calling as well as God's elect exiles? You know, we hear in 1 Peter uh, chapter 1, verse 1, that we are the elect exiles of God, that we have been called out of this world to be Christ's holy possession, but now we have a holy calling that we've been given. We are now called to go back into the world, to be the blessing God intends, that through our callings and our vocations, that we are to seek the common good. And so my question for you today, as you look around your neighborhood and your community, is what good can you do? How can you seek the common good wherever you live, work, and play? How can you be a conduit of God's blessing and care and love to those that you come in contact with each and every day? And we're not only going to be exploring this individually, but in our next IGO vlog, we're going to be exploring how we can do this collectively as the body of Christ, the church. With that, I want to wish you God's blessings. I hope that this was an inspiration to you. If you have any thoughts or questions, reach out to me. And with that, we'll catch you next time for our next IGO vlog. Take care, everybody.